Keith Campbell, you helped develop, develop Dolly the sheep. Are there any dangers in developing cloned animals? The cloning technology is not perfect. And we do have the occurrence of abnormalities and deaths during the cloning process. However, since we produced Dollar the Sheep, the efficiencies have increased sharply and also the, uh, our knowledge has become such that the abnormalities have been significantly reduced. So nowadays, the cloning process is much more efficient. So would you counter Peter Stevenson's argument from Compassion and World Farming at that cloning is very bad for animal welfare and actually a real danger. I would, I would counter that argument, especially as some of the data that he quotes is actually not related to cloning per se and is out of date, specifically the production of large offspring. This was associated with effectively test tube calves and it's, it's, most of that occurrence is, now, is, is due to the presence of, of particular factors in the culture medium in vitro. I think that and part of his argument is also about genetic selection. Now, cloning is not genetic selection. Cloning can help in genetic selection, but it's the use of the traits that causes the problems that he's saying are inherent in, in dairy animals due to their high inbreeding and their, their selection for high yields. We need to do that because high yields gives the farmer, it produces sufficient milk and food for, for the population, but it also means that there are fewer animals which also may have an environmental impact, as especially in cattle they're supposed to produce so much methane. So do you have any concerns about uh, welfare implications of using cloning technology over and above using normal breeding techniques? If correctly monitored then no, because you know all of the cloning that's done in the UK to date is under Home Office regulations, and that is extremely highly controlled, and it's all based on the welfare of the animal. And so, what advantages do we get out of using cloned animals? What does it offer UK farmers? But what it offers UK farmers is the ability to multiply up, especially elite bulls, to have several of them, or animals that were genetically superior, that remain genetically superior, that are past their breeding age. We can clone them and keep those genetics going into the population.